Hi, I'm Amelia. And I'm Elizabeth. And we're in the, the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. We have all sorts of stuff planned while we're here. We're going on a lot of cultural immersion. We're just gonna have a lot of adventures and show you all what you can do here in the Dominican Republic when you venture outside your all-inclusive resort. So follow us for an amazing adventure in this beautiful country. plenty of things to do on property at the Grand Reserve. However, we love going off property and having adventures. So our travel advisor booked us through Rennie's Travel to go on a day excursion. I know, I'm so excited. So we're taking the Santo Domingo day tour and it takes us through the Zona Colonial, the colonial zone. So we're starting off here behind us at the Faro de Colon and then we're off to the cathedral and we're gonna go to Tres Ojos, which has some amazing caves. So I'm super excited to see a 15th century cathedral. Yes, and I'm so glad our travel advisor booked this for us. So let's get started. Let's go. All right. Along with all the beautiful history here in Santo Domingo, we're now standing in front of the oldest cathedral in the New World. Yes, it's quite amazing. Construction started in 1514 and wasn't completed until 1541, and it is still the oldest standing cathedral in the Americas. Plus, it's right down the street from the Columbus House, so that means that more than likely the Columbus family worshipped here. So we're going to check it out, bring you along with us so you can see how beautiful the inside is. Let's take a look. Elizabeth, can you believe where we're standing? I know. We are at the Palacio Visceral of Don Diego Colon, son of Cristobal Colon. Wait, wait, wait. So you mean to say that we are standing at the house of the son of Christopher Columbus? That is correct. And here we are at the same place where they would come with their mail every day through the door. Through these doors. Christopher Columbus walked through these doors. <laughs> That's what yeah. I hear. And so this home was built in 1511, and the family actually, and descendants, were here until 1577. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's That's been, amazing. It's incredible, and it just gives me chills to think yes. that we are standing here. One of the oldest buildings um, in the New World. That's right. Elizabeth. So there's a folklore uh -huh. that this anchor may have belonged to one of Columbus's three ships, the Niña, La Pinta, and the Santa Maria, or the Santa Maria. Uh, that's incredible. <laughs> so they found it sometime in the 1700s uh -huh. off the coast of Samana, and that's where supposedly those ships may have sank. So it's possible when they found this that it actually belonged to one of those ships. And I mean, just all this history we're experiencing here in the Dominican Republic is absolutely phenomenal. It's when could you touch Something like this. No, it's incredible, and it's all around the capital of Santo Domingo. What we see here is Larimar. Larimar is a precious stone you can only find in the Dominican Republic. And my friend here is going to yes. get me a great deal on a beautiful piece. Yes. For this time. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing a stone man in the Dominican Republic. Look, look, my, look, my, look, my, look in the my. Dominican Republic. The big one is stone. Yeah. Elizabeth, we are in Las Cuevas de Macao, which is the Macao Caves. And here is most likely where the Taino Indians, the indigenous people of the Dominican Republic, probably came to bathe. It's really cool because you just walk down some, well now it's steps, but I'm sure in their time they just went down the rocks. There's a natural pool at the bottom, very refreshing, but now you can come visit, jump in, take a swim, and then work your way back out and head on the rest of your tour, which is what we're about to do. Yep, I'm ready to take a swim. 